Hi, Marika here, and uh, today we're here in um, Six Pack Meals Kitchen. This is where we cook all the healthy food for our clients and ourselves. And uh, today I wanted to share with you a very easy and simple recipe uh, that is great for traveling or bring to work. If you don't have enough time, you can throw it together fast and it's ready and go. I'm gonna make some tuna burgers, and these burgers contains everything, carbohydrates, healthy fats, and also protein. So you don't need to think about carry your rice or your pasta or whatever with you. Everything is in these burgers to bring. So let's start. Uh, what you need first is you need two cans of tuna, if you are two people, for two people. And uh, about, for my diet, I eat around 25 to 30 grams of carbs each meal now, so I have 100 grams of oats for two people. I have some spices and since I'm in India today I'm doing it with some Indian homemade spices that we make here in the kitchen. It's a masala spice and uh, together with that I have a little bit of soy sauce, kikuman soy sauce, to get a little bit salty flavor and that oriental flavor. Superb. And with this we also mix it with four egg whites which will help the tuna to bind better together with the oats and also give us another form of protein that is a great combination with the fish. And uh, so, and also I have some little spring onions too. We keep on going with this Asian, Japanese, um, Oriental fish, fish system. So we have some uh, spring onion too in it. So let's start making it. So these are the ingredients you need to make tuna burgers and uh, you start with the cans of tuna and it's around 125 grams of tuna, dry tuna in each can which gives you um, around between 25 to 30 grams of protein for each person. And then we are uh, trying to spread the tuna in small pieces, make small pieces out of it like a dough. Squeeze the water in it so it becomes like a little dough. Before we are going to add in the, the eggs. And we only use the egg whites. So we're using four egg whites for two person. And uh, this egg white is going to help bind the patties together to better. And also it gives, gives another protein source to the burger. And of course, if you are on a high, more high calorie diet, if you try to gain muscle, gain weight, you can even add one of the yolk. And now I'm trying to get the shell out too. We don't want shells in the patties. There you go. And the last one. And then we mix it together, so become like a smooth, nearly like a dough. We want to break the tuna into smaller pieces. And now it's very soft and smooth. And we're going to add in the oats. And uh, this is around 100 grams of oats, and this is for two person, as I said. So it's going to become around 25 to 30 grams of carbohydrate for each person. So now we are mixing the protein source with the carb source all in one. And we're making a nice dough of it. You can see how the oats are sucking up the egg whites and you're mushing it together so it gets smooth and 
Then we keep adding in the onions, the spring onions. And here you can use anything. You can use peppers, red peppers too, or other kind of onions. And uh, it's pretty much open to use any kind of vegetables in the dough. Then I have my Indian spices mixed in six pack meals kitchen. And since it's very spicy spices here, I only add a little bit of it, like one teaspoon of this. But uh, you can use any of your flavor. You can have Tex-Mex, taco spice, you can have Italian season, barbecue, any, anything that you prefer more. Then I have uh, some Kikkoman soy sauce because I like the flavor, the soy flavor in um, my uh, tuna patties. It goes great together with tuna and it also gives a little oriental taste of it. Mix it in even. And because I have the soy in, I don't need to add any other salt because the soy is very salty in itself. Now it's looking even, and we are almost there now. And that's it. Now we're going to make some patties of that and fry them. Okay, so now we have the tuna mix ready with all the ingredients. And now we're going to make small burgers, small patties that we're going to fry in the frying pan. and. Um, I use gloves because it's going to be very messy, but it's nice sometimes to be without gloves too and play with our food. Make them like this size. You can add any spices in this as you want to. Um, I sometimes used to have, when I was in America, I had a lot of Tex-Mex spices. So it became like a Mexican flavor on them, like taco spices. You can use chilies, uh, uh, Italian spices, anything that you prefer. And just uh, taste it after your taste, how much you need to have. We all are individuals, so some people like it more spicy, some people like it more salty. And uh, I added soy sauce here, so that is going to be the salt in this mix here, because I like so uh, soy sauce in most of my food. And because, as I said, it's um, oats in these ones, so you don't need to have a bun either. You have the carbohydrates. You can have salad instead. Okay, now the patties is ready to go on the frying pan. So we move over to the frying pan and we fry them up. Okay, so now we're gonna fry our tuna burgers. And since it's oriental flavor, I use some sesame oil, which goes perfectly with the tuna. So I just sprinkle a little bit on the pan, and then I just even it out with a brush. And then we start putting the patties. And I have uh, six patties here, so it's gonna be three for each person. Get room for them all. And 
now we're just gonna fry them uh, two three minutes on each side so they get some nice golden brown flavor and uh, color golden brown color on them a little crispy it's gonna be delicious it smells already and while we're anyway standing here I can show you because our kitchen is working with all healthy food, only healthy food and different healthy carbohydrates, healthy protein sources, because we have many clients that we are feeding every day and make sure that everybody gets what they like, different food palettes. And uh, one of our carbohydrates for tonight that they're making is the red, red rice, which is very healthy and it tastes delicious too. So it's always exciting. Okay, now they've been uh, frying for five minutes, about five minutes, and I've been turning them both sides. And um, you have to feel yourself how long time it takes because all stoves are different. So make sure the color is good on them, not too burnt, and uh, maybe feel them and you will make sure that they are ready cooked. And now I'm gonna place them on a plate. we go we have six patties so for two person this is going to be three uh, burgers each and uh, have some salad together with it salad vegetables some um, seeds whatever you like and uh, balsamic vinegar or something like that and it's a full meal and also if you travel what I used to do is I take my patties and I put them in Ziploc bags and for the night I put them in the fridge or the freezer so that way when I travel they will last during my travel too because this is perfect to eat in the car, on the plane, on the go. So uh, try them and I hope you enjoy them and I see you soon.